the Haas, briefly, as you might have noticed, a little bit of a silence there in the beginning of the song really touched my heart in regards to children who do not have fathers in their life. And David last week was very precious, you know, after we, we left here, he was like, hey, can we go to Subway? And I said, sure. He wanted a meatball sub. And so we were like, okay, here's one. We went, no meatballs. They were out of meatballs. So then I had to go to another one. But when we were walking up, David said, you know, he said, can I call you dad? When we got in to the subway, and so he went over and got two cups, you know, to drink while I was ordering the sandwiches. He said, yeah, I've got your... I get up for a drink, a drink you want. And, and it, it touched my heart very deeply because there's so much pain sometimes, I think, in our lives. And maybe I don't have a father. And yet we all have a father. And this song was all about it, David. And I hope, you know, you, you saw it here too, that he knows your name. He knows your pain. He knows your tears. And so just never forget, because sometimes we do, we're like, not thinking about that. And I think that's the thing that it is all about, is that Jesus Christ, God, is our Father, and He's the best Father we could ever have. And so our earthly fathers, even myself, fail a lot, but God loves us and He never fails us. And so don't ever forget that. That is an important thing. And look for those people who may not have a Father in their life to be an example of love that, that is of the is over one you know, year old. Jesus Christ says, you shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, the heart everybody. All your soul and with all your mind. Look at this. this is the first and the great and the second is like it. You shall love your neighbor as yourself. On these two commandments depend all the law. The Amen. Everybody, uh, the providence of God is upon our lives, everybody. I pray you can read this, comprehend it, share it as God leads you to everybody. That's the obedience of a Christian man right there, everybody. All right, the word providence, this is compiled, put together by Brother John Rogers, everybody. Providence. Jesus loves us, everybody. His providence is with us. Thank you, Jesus. The word, like, fourth rag, rag means kings, you know, so fourth kings. I love you all. And this talks of predestination here somewhere as well. Or um, for being foreordained. You know, God loves us, everybody. He gives everyone the ability to decide, you know, to serve the Lord. Choose this day whom you will serve. Joshua 24, 15. However, it's really pronounced Joshua. In the Hebrew, it would be Yehoshua. Originally, his name was Hosea. And Moses, in Numbers 13, 16, changed it to Yehoshua, the help of Jehovah. Jehovah saves. Everybody, Jesus loves you. Please come to him. I pray you could understand what was written there. And I believe this is an important matter and message for those that will be left behind. Become a candle maker, everybody. Going to need light. Everybody get saved. 1 Corinthians 15, 1-4. Brethren, as pertains to the gospel, the good news, the evangelion, which I preached unto you, which you have also accepted, and in the which you continue, by the which also you are saved. I do you to wit, after what manner I preach unto you, if ye keep it, except ye have believed in vain. For first of all, I delivered unto you that which I received, how that Christ died for our sins, agreeing to the scriptures, and that he was buried in rose again the third day, according to the scriptures, everybody, for our justification. Jesus Christ is come in the flesh, and he's coming soon, everybody, in his own body. The Lord himself shall descend from heaven, according to 1 Thessalonians chapter 4, our apostle rapture resurrection. Jesus Christ is coming, don't trust any wicked doers in government, especially Trump, they're all evil. You know, all flesh will resort unto their like, and every man will keep company with such as he is himself. And like as the wolf agrees with the lamb, so doth the ungodly with the righteous. It's a constant war. And they just pretend, these wicked doer deceivers. And they may be reprobate minded. Yes, we still love them, but we cannot trust them. Trust never thine enemy. For like as an iron rusteth, so doth their wickedness. From Ecclesiasticus, also called Sirach. Everybody. And it also says in 1 John 5, 19 or 18, And we know that we are of God, and that the whole world lieth in wickedness. Or I like how the Tyndale translation says it. And we know that we are of God, and the world is altogether set on wickedness. Yeah, so they better repent, because Isaiah 66 has really, really strong warnings. Jesus loves us, everybody. For like as God is merciful, 
Even so hath he wrath, and his indignation cometh down upon sinners. As it says in Ecclesiasticus, everybody please put your full trust in God. He loves you. And please read the Holy Bible. Everything written in the Holy Scriptures is of value, everybody. The word manna, Erasmus said, means in Hebrew. What is this? So that we sit, so that we look at the Holy Scriptures and consider everything of value and, and, and hidden treasure and ask ourselves, what is this? You know, that's Joshua. Stepping on the necks of those wicked doer kings they killed, you know. Because God has his reasons for everything he does. God has his pre, um, providence in our lives. He, he, he put that job on there for Samson. To have victory, everybody. Over a thousand Philistines. Doesn't matter how many people are against us when God's on our side, everybody. For the victory standeth not in the multitude of an host, but in the faith in Jesus, in the Lord. You know, God loves us, everybody. Trust in him. You know, trust and obey. God is our defense, our shield, you know, a very rock and fortress, everybody, our defense, our high tower. The name of the Lord is a strong tower, a strong castle, the righteous runneth unto it and are safe. Something like that, right? Everybody, I love you. Please share this. And yeah, there's not much time. Jesus is about to come, so get saved now, everybody. Look at that miracle, everybody, and those rocks. I mean, the hearts there are supernatural, everybody, miracles. God created them. Oh, Jesus loves you, everybody. He's coming so soon. Everybody, keep the faith. You know, uh, 1 John 3, 23, and this is his commandment that he gave us, that we believe on the name of his son, Jesus Christ, and love one another as God gave us commandment. You're all welcome to comment. You know, just don't be maliciously hateful or saying any lies. You know, Jesus loves us and he wants us to have peace among one another, everybody. Let us be Christ-like after the example of Jesus. He's watching everything we do, everybody. He considers the works of men. He knows every single thing from beginning to end. And he loves us, everybody. You know, hearken unto the messages that he he has in his holy word, the promises, the covenant, the New Testament, everybody. God bless you all mightily. Yeah, continue in prayer, everybody. It's so important. And don't be deceived, like I already said, by any wicked doers in government. And uh, yeah, do what's right, even when it's not convenient. You know, blessed are they that suffer persecution for righteousness' sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Oh, how blessed we are, everybody. Jesus loves us. Thank you, Jesus. God bless you all, family. See you soon. Jesus Christ is coming in the flesh. Someday soon he'll come in his own body, everybody. You know, as it says, it's promised. And there's, certain, there's not much time at all, I mean. We're, we're blessed to have this time to still reach the lost, everybody. So let us do God's will while we're still here, everybody. Because Jesus Christ loves us. Yeah, I found this uh, about last year. 2023 in October, I believe, if I remember correctly. All right, God bless you all, brethren. To keep this kind of short to get it uploaded quickly. All right, keep the faith, brethren. Maranatha, the Lord cometh. Keep looking up, brethren.